Welcome to the July community meeting for Wikimedia Australia. This month we have Dr. John Luca Di Martini. Uh, he's an associate professor in data science at the University of Queensland, and some of his research has been around Wikipedia and Wikidata. He recently received funding from the Wikimedia Foundation for research titled Measuring the Gender Gap, and I believe he presented at yesterday's Understanding Wikimedia as a Digital Media Platform event in Sydney. So I'd like to thank him for joining us this evening, and now I'll hand over to you, John Luca. Thanks, uh, James, for the introduction and good evening, everyone. Um, so like James said, uh, <clears throat> uh, the research my group has been doing uh, also relates to Wikipedia uh, and myself, I've been uh, working uh, with Wikipedia for, um, for a long time. Um, so the plan for today is uh, uh, for me telling me about, a bit about uh, um, what we have uh, recently been doing for Wikipedia and what we started to do now thanks to this uh, um, grant from the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay, so the first thing I want to mention is um, that I am a computer scientist. Uh, so that's my first uh, disclaimer. Um, and this overwhelming slide uh, is just for me to say that uh, I really started to do my research uh, in uh, almost uh, 20 years ago. Uh, and, and I used the Wikipedia uh, extensively in my research. So what I was doing uh, in the early days of my research career was uh, uh, building uh, search engines uh, that uh, leverage uh, Wikipedia as a background collection. Uh, so back in the days, uh, search engines like Google, they were searching the web and they were uh, returning links to web pages. Uh, but what we have today is not only the links to the web pages that you find on the web, but also typically on the right side of the search engine result page, you get this, uh, what it's called uh, knowledge panel or entity card, which looks like very much like a Wikipedia info box uh, that contains some uh, uh, pictures and some factual information and maybe some links to, to other things. So if you're looking up an actor, you will see links to movies the actor is starring in and so on. So all of that uh, is uh, in most of the commercial search engines powered by Wikipedia. And that was uh, uh, the focus of my research in my PhD uh, back in the days, where we really looked at how, is, uh, to, how to build search engines that uh, make use of Wikipedia, how to get information uh, for uh, search engine users, how to fit and so on, and how to present it in the best way. So this was the early days where my research was uh, um, using Wikipedia, but now more recently we started to do research for Wikipedia. Um, and uh, I'll tell you about those projects um, uh, today. So one first thing uh, we started to look at is Wikidata, which is uh, uh, this uh, structured version of uh, um, of, of Wikipedia, where uh, uh, we get uh, factual statements about um, entities like persons, location, and organizations. And as you may notice, uh, uh, say database is then used to power what you see in the info boxes in Wikipedia articles. So we can just uh, modify the, the version in Wikidata and then all the different Wikipedia languages can make use of the same data source to, to populate info boxes. Um, so one thing we, we did before really uh, trying to help uh, uh, the community of editors was really to understand how the community of editors uh, uh, does what it does. So we, given our focus on, on data science and computer science, what we did is a study of uh, uh, contribution behavior of the community. So what we did is we took five years worth of uh, edit history of Wikidata, 
and this consisted of uh, 250 million edits, uh, the, the majority of which uh, was uh, automatically created by bots and algorithms and scripts. So we, we took away those 200 uh, and more millions of edits automatically generated in Wikidata, and we focused on the 35 million edits contributions to the, to the project made by humans. And we started to look at this over time. And our main question was uh, trying to understand why certain editors uh, contribute to the project for a long period of time, while others, actually the majority, they contribute once or twice and then never again. So our question was really, what is the difference between those editors who contribute for a, a long period of time as compared to those uh, who, uh, who stop after, uh, after a few contributions. And uh, uh, again, we did a lot of data analysis uh, and few observations, few conclusions we reached is that uh, those who contribute for a long period of time, in a way, are very systematic and they contribute um, regularly. For example, some will do it uh, every evening, some will do it uh, uh, in the weekend every week, some will do it once a month, but very regularly over time um, they, they manage to contribute and this makes them stick for a long period of time. Uh, and another aspect that differentiates these two groups of uh, editors was the diversity of their contributions. Uh, so those who stay for a long period of time, they tend to uh, start uh, with a specific type of edits. So for example, they would add all the capital cities of, uh, of countries in Europe. And then once they are done, they start to move uh, 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 along in this graph by, for example, adding all the mayors of the capital cities. So they traverse the information um, in, in, the, in, in, in Wikidata and they, in a way, change uh, over time the type of contributions they make as compared to the others who instead uh, do not uh, diversify and then they stop once they, in a way, have finished to cover their area of interest. So these were a few observations that uh, led us to then ask questions about what data is there in Wikidata. Um, so we know that over time it grows, there is more uh, information about entities, there are more entities, more relations about them. Um, so we started to ask questions about uh, the type of data which is in there. Um, and uh, so if we look at Wikidata in this way as a graph where you could have uh, entities as nodes in the graphs and then you can have uh, um, edges that connect uh, one node to another node that represent a relation in the graph. That's exactly what you get in Wikidata, right? So if you look at uh, an entry in Wikidata would represent, for example, this monument, and then you have uh, um, uh, attribute and values uh, relations to other entities, or they will have uh, uh, a type uh, and so on. So this can create a graph and then you can uh, uh, in a way, traverse this graph following edges going from one place to another. So as we know, this graph has been growing over time. More nodes and more edges are being added by the community. So when we think about uh, uh, is the data there good uh, in terms of quality, there are a number of things that could happen. We could have wrong information. We could have missing connections. We could have missing entities uh, um, in the graph. And over time, the quality has been improving. So the next question we wanted to ask is then, how in a given point in time are, uh, are we doing in terms of quality? And one, uh, as an example type of quality, we can look at uh, completeness. So the example is the following. Uh, in Wikidata, we have uh, entries about uh, cities of Germany, and we have a certain number of them. What we don't know, if we want to know how close we are to having all of the cities in Germany, which probably today we have, but if we want to measure how 
close to having them all. We are for a specific type of entity. What we need to know is what is the actual number of cities in Germany in the world, in, in real life. If we knew that, then we can compute the number, right? We can say, okay, we are 80% complete because we have 80 cities in Wikidata and we, are, and we know that there are 100 in Germany. So it's easy to count the fact that we have 80 cities in Wikidata. What is difficult is to know that we have 100 uh, cities in Germany in general, right? For, for any specific type of uh, entity that appears in Wikidata. So here is uh, this problem, which is uh, how can we estimate uh, the number of entities of a specific type? For example, US states, it's easy to know how many, but for other types of entities, maybe difficult to know how many there should be in the, in the database. So here, uh, it, uh, this graph shows how Wikidata has been growing over time. This is 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm oh, sorry, 17 and 18. Um, and this shows that the graph uh, is being more and more connected. So we have more relations and more nodes in the graph over time. Still, uh, it would be important to know how many um, entities we are missing for a specific entity type. So what we did in this work is trying to estimate, again, how many we should have of a specific thing. And the way we did it is using a method from uh, uh, computational ecology, um, which allows you to count, to estimate how many lions there are in the savanna, for example. So if you want to know how many lions there are in the savanna, what you do is you go there, you capture some lions and you tag them. We attach them. We attach something to to their here, and then you let them go. After a while, you capture another group of lions and you check how many you have the tag, which means how many you have captured previously. You do this a few times, and then uh, this allows you to estimate. Uh, the, the, the population size, so how many lions there are overall, even if you haven't seen them all, even if you have just seen these uh, samples. So this is a well-established method, uh, which we took and we applied uh, uh, to Wikidata in this case. So what we did is we look at the edit history over time as our way to capture lions. So in this example, we observe uh, monuments. The Eiffel Tower is a monument we observe once, and then we observe it again. So we, this we, is a recapture uh, event. This is a new type of monument that we observe for the first time, and so on and so on. So over time, we observe and re-observe uh, uh, entities of a specific type, for example, monuments. And this allows us to estimate how many monuments there should be in Wikidata. And this is the estimation uh, made by different methods. You see that the more uh, observations we have, the more accurate the estimations are. This dotted line is the correct number that we are assuming we don't know. So there are uh, about 850 paintings by Vincent van Gogh out there. And we are trying to estimate by looking at paintings by Vincent van Gogh in Wikidata and edits on them, how many there should be. And you see, when we see just observe just a few, we are underestimating the number and we are overestimating. But then after a, a certain number of observations, we have a very good estimation of the correct number. And this allows us to to know how many um, instances of a specific uh, class there should be. And therefore, this allows us to um, compute uh, uh, the number uh, of uh, how complete the, the knowledge graph or the database is, uh, because we might have uh, 600 currently in Wikidata, so we know how far we are to having uh, the complete number. So this, uh, again, we did a lot of experiments, so we know that this worked well on Wikidata. And then we thought, uh, how can this be useful to the editors 
to decide uh, what to focus on, what to contribute uh, uh, next. And that's where this uh, new project uh, uh, that is starting now is really looking at. So here we are looking at uh, uh, the same idea I just talked about, but um, so with, with few differences. One is we focus on Wikipedia, and the other is we focus on uh, a subset of, um, of the problem. So rather than previously, rather than estimating how many monuments there should be, we look at the subset of uh, a type of entity for a specific attribute value. In specifically, we look at uh, the gender attribute and we look at the possible values of the gender attribute. So the problem is the following. Uh, it's the same problem as before, we just split it uh, on gender. Uh, this means, uh, uh, let's imagine we want to know how complete Wikipedia is in terms of astronauts. We know how many pages, articles about astronauts we have, but we don't know how many we should have. So the problem becomes, uh, uh, we want to know how many astronauts there should be, and we do this for different genders. Um, so this allows us to then uh, compute uh, an estimate of uh, how complete uh, Wikipedia is in a given point in time for a specific type of uh, uh, person for different genders. So that's the, the goal of this project, to develop uh, methods and tools um, to, to generate these numbers, to estimate uh, how complete uh, um, Wikipedia is uh, for specific uh, type of persons and for uh, uh, the different genders. What this allows us to do is to then measure whether uh, the completeness for a certain gender is uh, higher than the completeness for another gender. And uh, it's, not, uh, it's not obvious, right? We could have uh, uh, 80 uh, male astronauts and five female astronauts, but this doesn't mean that uh, the male astronauts uh, uh, are more complete because we don't really know how many there are uh, out in, in the world. So the problem is to estimate that number. Once we know that, we could know that uh, uh, female uh, astronauts are 20% complete and male astronauts are 80% complete, and therefore the community may decide to focus on uh, adding new articles about female astronauts, for example. Um, anyway, I want to stress the fact that um, also through conversations with the Wikimedia Foundation, we really don't want to tell editors what to do. Our goal is to uh, generate these numbers, so estimate how complete uh, a certain, uh, say, category of Wikipedia articles is uh, for different genders, and, and then we stop. And then we give this data, possibly through a dashboard, uh, to the community, and then it's up to the community to decide uh, how to use it, right? And how to use this data to inform their uh, decision-making processes on uh, what to focus on and what to do next. Um, uh, so that's uh, that's our aim. It's really just to provide uh, data and evidence uh, to the community. Um, and indeed, uh, we one part of this project is uh, uh, talking to editors uh, through interviews to, in a way, have a co-design process of the solution, try to see how uh, these generated uh, estimates may be more useful uh, for editors. Uh, so we are uh, we are talking uh, to a few of them to understand uh, uh, how they may benefit from this in the best possible way, so that we don't just do this uh, um, for the sake of doing it, but it can also be used to improve uh, uh, Wikipedia over time. So there are. Uh, I'll just spend uh, one more minute uh, to discuss uh, um, specific challenges that uh, I expect we will face. Um, and they mainly have to do with, uh, so one has to do with the time, uh, as we as we mentioned, uh, uh, things change over time, and also the gender balance uh, representation in uh, Wikipedia changes over time. So in a way, our solution is to um, 
consider that change over time and in a way make sure that the estimates are not biased based on what we have seen in the past, but should be focusing more on what has been seen recently, for example, in the edit history. Um, and the second challenge I expect to face is uh, because of the notability criteria. So a good example is that of uh, mathematicians in Russia. If you look at uh, uh, Wikipedia, um, the majority of uh, Russian mathematicians there are male. Um, and this, in a way, represents well what happens in the mathematics community. But this happens because there is um, a gender bias issue in, in the specific society that in a way is pushing uh, male figures for uh, leadership roles. And that's why the most notable mathematicians are male. But on the other hand, if you look at, uh, uh, say, uh, students in STEM disciplines in Russia, the gender balance is, is very, very good. So there are many non-male mathematicians in Russia, but the famous ones are male. Um, and this could also be, in a way, a, a, a challenging detail for uh, our number estimates, right? Uh, I mean, we, we really have to pay attention not to uh, reinforce uh, stereotypes in the society, but try to be as objective as possible to allow the community of editors of Wikipedia to then make uh, their own decisions on on uh, how um, to use this information that we provide. All right, so that's our uh, aim for this uh, new project. I'll probably stop here, and if there is any question, I'm happy to um, discuss further details about this. Thank you. Thank you so much, John Luca, and thanks for everyone who joined us this evening. Uh, we'll now turn off the recording uh, to have a bit of a, a Q&A, and I hope you all join us next time as well.